So today's video is going to be showing you my everyday winter makeup routine, so let's do it. I got a clean face, I'm burning my Vanilla Bean Noel candle, and I'm going to start with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm going to take a quick bath in that just for some extra hydration throughout the day. Then I'm going to be mixing two foundations. I'm taking my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint in Linen and my Too Faced Born This Way foundation with a Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. I would use the Too Faced foundation, but it's a little bit too dark for me, so I mix it in. I do want to get my regular shade, but it's really moisturizing. I've been having really dry skin, so I'm just gonna buff that all over. Then I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm not sure which shade, I'll have it linked down below, but I've just been using this under my eyes. It is really nice and weightless. I feel like this shade might be a little bit too light for me, but I'm using it now in the winter when I'm my palest. But yeah, I'm gonna put that on my chin, my forehead, and my nose, and under my eyes, and then take my Sigma F86 Tapered Kabuki and blend that all together. Then I'm going in with my NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer in Porcelain just to cover up any zits and it's really disgusting. I need a new one or else I'd show you a close up, but I'm just taking my finger to blend all that in. Then I'm going to take my NYX Pro Contour Palette in the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush and mix this soft light color with this yellow color for underneath my eyes. You guys know that I freaking love this. I'm also bringing it up onto my eyelid just to set um, the concealer I put there to kind of act as a primer. And then I'm taking the soft peach color mix with that soft light color to set the rest of my face. And then it is time for bronzer. I'm taking my new favorite brush. This is the Sigma Soft Angled Contour F23 brush and my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantric and I'm just going to warm up my face. I love the shape of this brush, not only for my cheekbone area, but also for my hairline. Before this brush, I was using a Morphe brush that was just a dome shape and this makes it so easy to get into my hairline and blend everything out. I am obsessed. And I'm going in with my other new obsession, the Sigma Extreme Structure Contour F04 brush in the taupe shade from that NYX Pro palette. And I'm just going to lightly contour just a little bit of help for my extremely round face but uh, yeah I find this brush is really nice for just giving you a little bit of contour. I'm gonna go around the forehead and the nose as well then blend everything out. If you guys want these brushes I'll have them linked down below with coupon codes. Now it's time for the brows. I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. Uh, you guys have seen me do this a million times. I'm gonna brush them out with the spoolie and then fill them in with the pencil but I'll say it again. This is my favorite eyebrow brush of all time. It is fabulous and it just makes things really easy to fill in. Also also to blend out, I really like this color and it's just the best brow brush, no, pencil I've ever tried. And brush, the spoolie is fantastic. Oh, I'm having my Princess Mia moment. Hopefully you get it. Then lately for a bit of a bolder brow, I've been using the Anastasia Brow Duo, also in taupe and this MAC angled brush. I'll have it linked down below and I'm just filling it in a little bit more just to cover any sparse areas I missed. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to set everything. This stuff is like super glue. I use it every single day and I love it. And then I'm going in with my new favorite thing. This is the Pure Cosmetics Eye Polish in Champagne. These things are so freaking cool. I kind of want to do a whole swatch review video on them because I love them. They ba they're basically a cream product that dries to a powder, but they look great on their own. They look great with things on top of them. They're just really versatile and really pretty, and I've just been obsessed with the champagne color. I mentioned it in my November favorites, and I'm still I've still been using it all month long, so I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and then go in with my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mask in black brown and just add about 1,000 coats of that. Then it's time to do my cheeks, which is my favorite part. I'm taking this Clinique Blush Pop in Pansy Pop and this new, to me, Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush in F15. And I'm just gonna blend this all over my cheeks. This looks like a really intimidating color because it's like lavender, but it's just a nice flushed pink color. It's perfect for winter. Then it is time for highlighter. I'm taking the new Sigma Accentuate Highlighter F56 Brush and Champagne Pop, and I love the shape of this brush. It's perfect for just dabbing it in there and then putting it on the tops of your cheekbones. It is such a nice shape, and oh, I love this highlighter. But my favorite part to do with this brush is down the nose. It's the perfect shape for that. It's also really nice for putting the highlighter above your brows. It's just a really nice shape. And then I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques setting brush and just kind of blend that out because I can be a little heavy handed with the highlighter. I just want to make sure it's okay. Then I'm going in with another coat of mascara, but this time I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. You guys know I love to double these up. It just is a really nice kind of dramatic lash look without having to use false lashes. Then I'm applying my Jouer Enhancing Lip Treatment. And then that is it guys. A really dewy, nice winter look since my skin has been feeling so dry but I love you guys thank you for watching if you're interested in any of the new Sigma brushes I will have them linked down below with a coupon code catch up on holiday me right here don't forget to subscribe and I love you and I'll see you in a couple of days bye guys